So hey guys, this is going to be a really um, easy breakfast idea. I am not a morning person at all, I'm not going to lie. I am up all night and in the mornings I just it takes me a while to get moving, um, which isn't bad until the kids are in school. And instead of feeding them cereal or Pop-Tarts or things like that every morning, I decided to start doing some recipes in my crock pot and this one is amazing. It's fast, it's easy, you can throw it in at night. And when you're running late, like us in the morning, you can have like a home-cooked meal um, without having to worry about anything. So this is going to be um, French toast in the crock pot. And you're going to want to spray your um, crock pot inside with non-stick spray because this will stick. So I'm going to do that. I'll get the ingredients and I'll show you how to do it. It's really easy. I apologize for the views on this video. Um, my tripod is actually over at the new house and I'm at the old house. So um, just kind of bear with me. Uh, you're going to need about a, I don't know, I put a lot in there I guess. But it calls for I think a tablespoon of cinnamon. Um, I just have my cinnamon and sugar mixed together. So um, just a little pinch of that just really to taste whatever you guys would normally use for French toast. You're going to need some um, vanilla. This is pure vanilla, um, so you don't have to use as much, but if you're using um, artificial vanilla, then you might need a, a little bit more. You're going to need um, six eggs and two cups of milk and a lot of bread. So I will mix all that up in here, and then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so I have my cinnamon, my eggs, and my vanilla and my milk in here. I will list all the measurements and everything in the information box because sometimes I fail to measure. Um, and now you just want to whisk that really good. And then I whisk it and it's really easy. It's almost done. Okay, I whisked mine up and that's what mine looks like. I greased my crock pot pan and we need some bread. You can use any kind of bread really that you want. Um, I'm just using the Sara Lee with no high fructose corn syrup. Um, and then uh, we're going to take some of that. We're going to put it in here. Make sure you grease this. It's very important. It will stick. Um, trust me, I've had it stick before. Um, so we're going to stick our bread in here. Okay, so I have two in there now. And um, you don't have to do this, but you can dip it first. But I'm just going to kind of add as we go in. Pour some more on here. There's no really way you should stack this. You about a half a loaf of bread. Um, this you can definitely pack it in there as much as you can. You can normally use like a full loaf of bread, um, but I'm not going to because there's no way we eat it. Um, but so that's how much my bread is left. Like I said, half a loaf. We're going to pour this mixture back on top of it. And then, okay, so it should look like that when you're done. Um, I normally put some extra cinnamon and stuff on top of mine after it's done like that. And I'm going to leave mine soak for a little bit after my crock pot on low. Okay, and then after I leave it sit for, I mean, a half hour or an hour, whatever really you want to, I will turn my crock pot on low. And this takes about four hours um, to cook. And if you're in a hurry, I mean, you can cook it on high for two hours if you want to have it, you know, for supper or something easy. You can do that. Um, but I'm going to cook mine slow. And then when it comes out, it is really amazing. And trust me, the smell is so good. So I'm going to put the lid on mine and I'm going to leave it sit for a little bit. I will turn it on low and let it cook for about four hours. And then by the time we get up, we will have French toast and no worries in the morning. And this is just really fast, really easy and really good. I think my nan used to call it um, bread pudding, but I don't know. I'm going to upload this video tonight. If you want to see what our breakfast looks like, um, please come back and check my vlog for tomorrow. I will show you what it looks like in there. So it um, looks basically like this. It will get a little bit crispier. Um, something like you would do, like if you would do it on a griddle or something, it will get like that. So um, just a little bit more simpler and less of a hassle, especially in the mornings. I do not do good in the morning. So hopefully you guys try this. If you have any questions or anything, definitely just ask. And thanks for watching, and you guys take care.